So there's loads of different types of uh, steam cleaners. You can have steam mops, which will obviously just do your floor, or you can get ones which are handheld and they have loads of different attachments and they kind of do everything. So you can do tiles and floors and walls and windows and toys, all that kind of stuff. So I thought we'd start with this one. Uh, this is uh, this is Ace. This is the Karcher Steam Stick. Lots of pressure in this, so obviously it boils up to about 100 degrees C inside here. I'll just show you how powerful it is. Whee, there you go. So I'm going to put the first attachment on to clean the hob, which is this tiny little brush, which I'll do there. This isn't hot, so I can remove that. So we've got some wonderful dried on food just here. Let's give this a go okay. and see how well it does. So you just agitate the dirt with the steam. There you go. So basically it gets off the duck off food and then you just wipe it up afterwards? Absolutely, just use your cloth then just to give it a nice wipe and get it nice and clean. You really need That's to keep good, attacking it? at it, but it's ace. They're really, really good. Yeah. If you've got pet hairs on your carpet mm -hmm. or on your sofa or even actually in the, in the car, if you let your, your, your dog or cat mm -hmm. ride in the car, rubber gloves. Rubber gloves are great for this, so it's just the friction that they build up while you're sweeping up. This is real cat hair that we've got here and it just does the job. Stale bread. Stale bread, once it goes stale, it's quite abrasive if you feel that. Yeah. And it yeah. feels actually like a scrubber. Mm. Scrubbing brush. <laughs> Didn't actually <laughs> mean you that. You said it first. I did. <laughs> so if you get some bread and you rub it... It's great I'd for cleaning school boards. Absolutely. <clears throat> yes. So what are you saying? Marks on the wall? Yeah, marks, marks on, on the your wall, kitchen marks cupboards. anywhere. You can use stale bread instead of throwing it away. What we've started with today is the toothbrush. Now, right. we brush our teeth every day. It's kept in the bathroom. Where do you keep yours? In the bathroom. And do you keep it in a cupboard? Do you keep it so that there's a lid on top of it? Or is it Mine just Mine hasn't got a lid. I mean, sometimes it's sort of charging yeah. in the cupboard, okay, but most so of the time it's on the side. If one of your children went to the toilet and they left the toilet seat up and then flushed, what's going to jump out of your toilet? Bacteria, faeces, um, and it's going to land straight on <gasps> your toothbrush. Okay. okay, so a really simple trick that you can do here is just really simply pop your toothbrush in a glass of water and use a denture tablet. Right. So that's going to sterilise the toothbrush, leave it to do its work and try and do that on a regular basis. Well, how regular? Once a week? Once well, a week, once yeah, a week. once a week. Because okay. I've always said, you know, you, we, we leave our toothbrushes out. We There's do. a big old dirty fly in here today. <laughs> but you, uh, you, go, you go to work, you put your toothbrush out, you go to work, and there could be flies on the toothbrush. And they don't, yeah. don't, 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 don't. OK, so I did no. swap the toothbrush earlier. And? And it come out of 325. Before you'd done yeah, the so thing. Yeah, so that is bad. Basically, I use a capful of my favourite softener. Um, you can use any softener, whatever it is that you use in your washing. Is that and one that begins with a C or one's a, one that begins with an L? It's L. Right. <laughs> this, this, this is good. This is really good. Yeah. So basically, well, you, you have just a like the smell. I'm obsessed with it. You do, don't you? I can't stop cleaning everything with it. Maybe this is why my doors are literally like they are. <laughs> but it smells amazing. So literally, a cupful of this yep, yeah. um, into a bowl of water. Fabric conditioner. Yes. Okay. Fabric conditioner. Yeah. Um, so what you'll do is you would then mix that up and you would use a scourer type sponge. Yeah. Does that one have a name? Because you of like course. to name your products. I do. This is um, this is Minky. Minky. Oh, hello, Minky. But this is welcome, Minky. Um, Minky, basically, as I said, one side scourer, one side's a honeycomb, and it works for everything. I use him in every room. I've got about ten of the things. Um, currently sold out in the UK completely. Because of you, probably. Can't believe it. So how do you? Which side do you use? So for the door, basically, you would use the scourer side for the door. Mm -hmm. So any marks like this, you'd literally. Circular motion. Circular motion. And it lifts it straight up without removing any of the paint. They're very good. Okay. And your door smells gorgeous. It really does. Uh, right, so um, how about some foodie-based things now? Vodka, you were talking about this earlier. Mm -hmm. Vodka's really cool for um, all kinds of stuff, but cleaning, it's brilliant. You can use vinegar. People use vinegar to cut through grease and oil and stuff, but it does leave a smell, whereas vodka is odourless. So, pop vodka, just neat vodka, into oh. a spray bottle and spray it onto things like smelly shoes. Why do you just use cleaning products? But if it's you've got an old, horrible... Yeah. I think vodka does have a smell. It doesn't. Once it, when it dries, it leaves no smell. At is that all. right? Yeah. What you can do, if you wanted to make it smell nice, is use essential oil or some lavender. You could mix it in if you want to. But this works just the same as those fabric 
sprays that you can buy on the market. Really? Does it work out cheaper doing it that way? Well, I think if you just get the really horrible stuff that you used to drink in college <laughs> and use, use that, like the cheap, cheap You're talking cheap about stuff. the vodka now, not the cleaning stuff. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. Uh, then it does, yeah, it's, you know, if, it's, if you've got it in the house and okay. you don't have anything else to clean with, it's quite good fun. Then it's quite a You can do this too. as well, actually. These, our windows are often a little bit filthy. We've got some fingerprints just up here. I've no idea if you can see them, but you can clean, you can clean your windows using vodka and newspaper and it gets it really and it's really and it's clean. diluted vodka no neat oh neat neat vodka and it's brilliant you can then buff it with a cloth one for the window one for me they look lovely oh you won't care about whether the windows have got <laughs> a smear on them <laughs> you can spray this on your clothes on your shirts and stuff as well if you just if you can't you know you haven't got time to wash it and you it want to get it it's called a spill isn't it <laughs> A lot of people have blinds, we have blinds, and then we have those American shutters. Yeah. They're a pain to clean. Yeah. What you do is you get your barbecue tongs and you wrap them with some, I've put them, you can put anything on them really, that's, but I use their some cloths, and you just stick an elastic band around them. Mm. And then, with these, your little weapons, you go to your Venetian blinds and you just run them across. It's that easy. And that's a really good one. That's and that's very, very satisfying. It's very satisfying. And the other thing you can do, and I always go on about this damp dusting, which means you're not moving dust from one place to another. Spray it on like that, and then you're not moving the dust around too much. This is a way to not only unblock the sink, but to stop any sort of unwanted smells and things like that, because the amount of stuff that goes down the plug, it's not great. So with this, you would literally use a cup full of... Um, like bicarb or something? No, this one is soda crystals. Oh. oh. So soda crystals, um, it's fantastic stuff. You can use it for a lot, actually, to be fair. There's lots of tips and hacks online. But you would use a cup full of this. You would literally pour this down the plug hole. Mm -hmm. Once you've done that, you would then use the same amount of white vinegar. And this is all relatively natural. There's not yeah. any nasty. No, kind no, no, of no. no. Where'd you, you get this stuff from? Oh, most supermarkets sell this. Um, again, it's it's quite hard to get hold of for the minute, but in most supermarkets, it's, they will they yeah. sell it. Pound a bag, all the best. Works, right. works fab. Okay. So um, again, and some white vinegar. Most most households have got this. Yeah. You literally just pour this down the plug hole as well. That will then mix together. It will it will fuzz. It will. Oh, you can hear it. it. I know. I get Very good. And how long would you leave that down there? Um, up to 30 minutes. And then you can use it as a normal linen. Yes. Everything will be clear. Yeah. Okay. And uh, for the reason you probably hear it fizzing is because that's not plumbed in. It's probably going on the floor. Oh. I was thinking, what's going on? <laughs> you can't it actually see oh, the lovely puddle coming out. You pull, what, so the kettle? Yes. Yeah. So once you've done that, once you've left it for 30 minutes, you then boil the kettle and use that to wipe, literally just to wash it all away. I'm worried to do this. What if it comes up? Ah, oh, right. don't worry. That's what. Uh, we, let's try. We live for moments like that. There you go. There you go. And it literally just washes it all away, and it works a treat. I do it probably once a fortnight at home. And that's so. healthy. You should be doing it right. You're right down there, Stan. <laughs> yeah, excellent. What You've is actually all that. going on? Totally. So get a lemon. Just get a whole lemon. Squeeze the juice out. Pour the juice into the water, and then actually, when you finish with the lemons as well, just shove the rind in, and then you put that on into the microwave for three minutes. Oh, I thought you were about to use it to clean it with. No, it, what it has to do, it has to cook, basically. So, oh, we're going to leave that running. Hang on. Oh, oh here you no. go. Now, where are you? What the...? There we How go. How long have you got to put it on for? There we go, three minutes. Let's put it on for three. There we are. Right, so let's leave that running. OK, Open I don't believe up. this is going to work. Well, it should now have lifted stuff that is caked on. So if I'm rubbing Oh, on so here, it makes it easy to clean. It makes... So then you have to wipe it, but it means that you're... It, it also smells nicely. Look, look, see, this stuff here has been baked on because we've been doing it all morning and it will lift away. If you find that some things are still stubborn, do it again. Disaster, you spill candle wax on the little... Yes. Oh, oh that's or just on the ruin carpet. the whole day. Yes. Everything is a disaster, yeah. but not if you have some brown paper and some ice. Now, what you want to do, when don't not when the wax is wet, let the wax go harder and then get some ice, like ice cube trays or ice in a bag, put it on the wax so it freezes it, make sure there's no condensation, it, it can't be wet. Yeah. And then once it's frozen solid, so this one here already is, and then what you do, let's move my candle out of the way, get some brown paper, take a section of the brown paper, put it over the, over the wax, this iron here is on. Obviously, you'd never normally have an iron just sitting on the floor on. And then, with nice and warm, so no steam, 
So no, no, nothing wet, just a dry ironing over the... Can you see that the wax is already yes, coming through? Yes, I can. So the brown paper lifts the wax away. You have to keep doing it. This is one of those things that does take time, but it's better than And would you move having... the paper along yeah, and then so do it again? Underneath it's already lifting. That's just wax. That's molten wax on there then. So just do it again, lift it, move it, and keep doing it over and over and again. And yes, it takes time, but it will remove the wax. So basically, um, what's gone on here? This. Um, it's one of my faves and it's a, a miracle cleaning paste. You can get a lot of cream cleaners and paste cleaners, but this works really, really well. It's only a pound a pot, so it's an absolute bug. But you literally apply a generous amount to the scour side. Mm -hmm. And mm. how exciting. You want to give it a go, It's like a salata. <laughs> What is that? Eh? Like a dip. Fish dip. Fish oh, dip. my God. I think it looks a bit like pate, but... So, basically, you put it on and it will literally wipe away. And is it like... Um, yes. Is it gritty? What's it feel like? Oh, yeah, it's it is. You just it's like, like a it little... slightly, yeah. It's yeah. quite pasty, but you literally rub that in. Keyboards. Yes. OK, so this come out quite high. Did it? This come out at Who's six... Who's been eating their lunch on your keyboard? Well, that's the thing. People sit at their desks, don't they, or they share in an office. Right. And you could have someone on the morning shift using the keyboard and then the afternoon shift person, and not everyone washes their hands. And I think, you know, you go to the public toilets, you see people scurrying out, don't you? I'm not washing my hands. And you see a lot of that, and, and then, then they're they touching tap, the tap, keyboard. Tap. OK, so the keyboard come out at 650. <gasps> One. That's really high. That is disgusting. That is like cause for concern. Oh, gosh. Um, so a few simple tricks you can do. So whilst you're sat in the office, you might be on the phone to a potential customer and you've got your hands free, a sticky notepad, so your post-it note, and just pop that through the keys like so, and you're just picking out that dirt and grime that's actually got set into you. So I've got some hair on there. Oh, some my God. bits of spots and stuff. So that's just come out. And that's something Isn't you can do. Isn't it better to do that first? Yes, it is, but that, that can damage your keyboard. We use bicarbonate of soda, and what you do is you make it into a little paste. So it's just a bit posh, really. It's very <laughs> so posh paste. don't normally really. have a little glass no. teapot to do don't it. don't normally do that, but look, look, you get a little paste like that. It mm -hmm. looks like glue. And then you just daub it over the stain. Now, we did do this beforehand, actually, yeah. uh, where we proved that it worked, and there's little film of me sticking this into the washer. There yeah, we did it. Here's one I made here, earlier. So yeah, you see, look, rubbed it all in like that, like I'm doing now. Yeah. Now, if it's a, it's a real tough stain, just leave it for a little while. We put this one in the washer, and actually, you just put it over with your normal washing sod, and maybe 40... I put it... For, sometimes they do need 60, okay. but it will come out. Depends and it what will, it's on, doesn't it? Whether it exactly. Can take 60. And if that was a blue T-shirt, Anthea, would that leave a, a faded mark, No, you think? No, no, it doesn't do that. No, it's, uh, it's magic. By yeah. Somehow, it's so you never get grass stains magic. on blue. It's always on you white. Know. Always on <laughs> white. So this here, any stains, any unwanted stains, smells, whatever on your mattresses, um, the way to clean them is to apply... This is bicarbonate powder. And you literally sprinkle it on the area. If you've got kids as well and bad accents on the beds, it works really, really well. You sprinkle it on, you can rub it in with a latex glove. Yeah. And basically, once it's been left on there for up to an hour, you literally hoover, hoover it, off. it off. Hoover it off. That's brilliant. Well and done, it you. Thank you it very much. much. By the way, you. your Instagram followers now, you've got 412,000. Very good. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Can you follow me? Yeah. No, yes. <laughs>